here, this is the uh, Inland Waterway Association's 75th anniversary. Looks like there's plenty of people about, plenty going on. There's some seminars going on. And plenty of food outlets. Entertainment, swings, fairground rides. So yeah, it looks like they've picked the right weekend for it, for the 75th anniversary. There's a free entry, free parking, a free program. We'll be down and look at the boats later on. Okay, so we're down by the canal now and uh, this is where all the decorated boats are. So what I'm going to do is, um, is walk down, just leave the camera on, uh, look at a few boats. If it gets too windy, if when I get back and I listen to the recording, it's too windy, I'll just take the audio off and put a bit of music on for you. What would you like? Some uh, hard rock. So here we go, we're starting here now. side, the towpath's the other side, so we're going to cross over now. Talking about gin decks, Colin and Jane's uh, slow gin. Um, I was somewhere yesterday, uh, where was I yesterday? Down at Red Oak Marina, and there's a boat down there called Where Else? And it's just interesting where that name came from. And um, the chap who owns it, oh, it was actually the Beery Boater, and uh, his mother uh, was called Elsie and he um, he's a bit of a journalist and he's um, he has a lot to do with camera the campaign for real ale around the Nottingham area and in his younger age when he's is into all this sort of thing which I think he still is now um, his mate had come round the house his mum's house who was called Elsie and uh, he'd say uh, where's Richard down the pub and she'd say where else and that's what his boat's called. Where else? Evelyn Elizabeth. Evelyn, my mother-in-law. So I might do a vlog one of these days on the on the names of boats and try and talk to the owners and find out why they picked these names. Ticks all across there. Look, we just picked up a bit. I must get myself a different camera with one of these. Uh, Microphones that's got on these uh, mufflers on it. The Lady Beth Middlewich. We're not going through the deep dark wood at the moment. Um, don't want to see the gruffle around here. Calf, heath, wandering bark. Nothing to do with cows and dogs. boat coming one way, a boat coming another way. One was trying to get past the other, they got a bit stuck.
If you've got a shot selling bunting, you'll be well in. Idle women. Can't say nothing about that. He's actually the whole master. Yes, he is. So just going on board uh, Get Knotted, which is a hire boat, um, and you're based at Worcester. Worcester. Okay, it's made by Colin Woods in Liverpool. It's 60 foot by 5 foot 10, and it's a it's a it's a cruiser style. So it's a holiday boat, and in the first instance, we're gonna we're gonna use it, and then we are going to hire it out because. We have a holiday home on you know Dickless Island? Oh yes, yes. We have a holiday home there and we're gonna put this with it with it. And, and how long have you had the boat? It's just arrived, another two weeks. Oh right. And you're quite happy to hire it out. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's the idea, it's gotta be paid for. Yeah. So there's plenty of storage space. Yeah, so you've got fridges and freezer and there, uh, proper galley, proper galley stuff. And your oven is? Oven. Oven. Sorry, grill. Oven grill. Um, oh, of the bottle. Microwave. Fed gas. Uh, the microwave. And then you go to the dining room, which is part of the integrated into the boats. Uh, apparently, the chef always sits there because there's a room on the boat, one in the galley. One in the galley. Uh, that's what it is. Then we have the we've got a little build of the boat here actually. Oh, right. How it actually all came about. And that's our boat and our cottage in Holland Cottage in Worcester. And that's what we live in in the basin. So the cottage would be available for hire as well? Yes it is. It's it's, it's ahead of this this is the, this boat's gonna be attached to that Holland Cottage. And people and people can get the information from diglisslockcottage.co.uk or diglisslockcruises.co.uk which is this one. Lounge with TV and this is this this is at the end of the night the second room. Yeah. And central heating. And we've got the diesel burn as well. So yes. I'm gonna get cold in it. And right now apparently the air conditioning is on. So that means the wind is out. So this is getting knotted, and the second boat is? Tie the knot. Tie the knot. Anything in knots. That's, yeah, the, 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 so it's what's called a walk through bathroom. So you've got a tower shower, so that's quite nice. You've got quite a spacious tower yeah, there. Home from home. And is it a pump out or is it a cassette toilet? It's a pump out. Pump out. Double glazed. So you're going to be cosy. And Another television house. It must be all we do on these boats, watch telly. Well, see, what's better than to kind of go through there? Day, just watch telly. And you can fly in bed, That's it. get the remote and uh, put and the TV on. The good thing about this boat, I think, is you can sit out the front and you can sit out the back. Or the, the bow or the stern. Yeah. And then the well deck with seating. <laughs> and this is your well deck. That's the bathroom system. So it's it's got additional power to, to, to power to steer the boat. It's got bow thrusters. So yeah, so just talking to the chap on that uh, on that boat, getting knotted the boat, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's got a cottage by the canal. You can take that boat up there. I like that both the cottage and the um, boat as well. So one of the attractions on the festival was um, it was free of charge but you had to book beforehand and that was teaching children to um, fish and that's what's going on here so there's the instructor there teaching that young lady how to fish and there again there look Ooh, teaching an adult to fish as well this bridge was full of gone gooslers earlier on watching two boats trying to get out of the way of each other so again all this is uh, part of the the festival and here's the jam booty so 
can go in there for your chutneys and your marmalades and, and everything else. There's a couple of working boats. And if you notice all the uh, all the riveting down this end. So every few inches of rivet, all these metal plates all been riveted together. Doing? Yeah, so the only thing I have to place on that boat is the uh, modern solar panel and the one more next to the side of it with the traditional uh, sun lighting and painting. Fiberglass top on this one, metal hull. Metal hull, wooden sides, fiberglass top. look over there now to see what's going on at the festival and this morning they had or um, well this morning yesterday and tomorrow seminars on boat ownership living on board all that sort of thing well kept isn't it? Armco and a uh, nice little picnic area. And then they had model boats on as well today as you can see there that's all part of the festival as well. The model boat club that's come down. torpedo boat and uh, everything seems to be um, tickety-boo solar panels enough to just uh Says there on the wolf 
Western Grand Grand Canal on Lock 8. Apparently the swans have got a ticket they can't go in. It's almost a deep lot this one. I'm trying to find out uh, what that is. Built for the top lock. So this is part of the Grantham Canal, Lock 15. This lock had been derelict for years and had been capped off at the top. The original idea, we were going to dig all the earth away to the left and to the right to expose the walls because the walls had come in. The only thing that were remaining was that bit as you see and this end. So we, we marry all the brick runs in. So instead of doing normal construction with walls, brick walls that thick and buttresses, at the back we put concrete concrete block wall yeah. and then concrete infill behind it and then a, a brick facing. So it's all set up for uh, families. It's on for three days. Uh, next year, I was told, I think we're in Milton Keynes. Don't hold me to that, but uh, that's what we're looking at, Milton Keynes. Well, that's it. Uh, another day, another festival. Um, so that was the Inland Waterways Association 75th anniversary of their festival. Uh, not bad at all. It's on over the bank on the weekend. Thank you.